All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Wayne's World Garage. It's hump day, we're at the sawmill. We've got two of these BALs, big American logs, one's 28 inches, one's 32, and we're gonna try and make two by fours and two by sixes out of them. Sadly, we only have a 48 inch blade. So 48 divided by two would be 24. Subtract several inches, we'll take it two inches, two and a half inches, we're down to 22 inches, but we're gonna have to work it like a pencil and see how it goes. So enjoy the show. So, 22, 23, right? What's left? <laughs> okay, so with this 46 inch blade, we get 20, 21 inches. Okay. I thought we had a 48 inch blade. Um, we do, but remember the husk where that is, right. we lose right, some. Go, go for it. Um, just the only, my only suggestion is you don't need to choke it now, it's been running, but please make sure the bar lock is on when you start it. But it starts easy now that it's been running. Just the first time of the day, it's like. The, the little ones? Yes. Yeah, the little ones are hard to start. The first time, it's like it's got 3,000 pounds of pressure or something. It's like it's incredible. Once it's been running, it's wonderful. Come on. Or no, we could do it, flip it backwards. All right. So what we're doing today is we brought the baby saw. It's a steel, it's 201 TC. It's a top saw actually. Um, it's a great saw. I had a 194 before this, did not have enough power. So um, we replaced it with a 201, which is just a fabulous little saw. And we have a nice 14 inch bar on it. So instead of a 25 or 28 inch bar on the larger saw, which is frankly, is hard to manage when we're cutting at this angle, this one just works swimmingly well. And what you don't see is I've already cut off probably six inches. Um, we cut off two slabs, Gary did last week, and I finished cutting with a little top saw today. And now uh, Alan here is taking a little top saw and just smoothing things off a little bit to finish off till we get a couple more cuts in there. Thanks, Alan, for squaring that guy up. So I think Gary measured it. I think we've got 22 inches or so that we can cut with this 48 inch blade. I don't know why we lose so much, but we'll have to hire somebody to find that out. We'll do a study. All right. Um, you know what? I got one more cant. How about a third cant? Would that help? <laughs> Let me get my cant, you know, more. I, I think probably what we've been doing. Or Matt's just give it a bear hug and pull it off. That might work. <laughs> Hold on, now that I'm here, I'll get it done. You guys take a break. <laughs> You're okay. You're all up there. I'm watching the carriage. Nicely done. Woo oh, good idea. What do you want to do next? Ro yeah. Yep. Yep. You want to move the. Good idea. I tell you what, I'm thinking about a hydraulic log turner. <laughs> and, and you already, Phil, you already, you know, had me thinking, and I'm looking into, you know. So we're pulling it towards me, right? We're gonna roll it well, yeah, we towards are. me. Get back we as far as we could. But roll it this way, the flat flat yeah, side here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I'm not seeing it out of the way, but um, when it comes loose, it's always annoying. Ready? One, two, three, pull. All right. It's gonna bang. Watch my toe. Ouch. That hurt. <laughs> well. I think that's a good way of doing it, though. That's settled the tracks. <laughs> that's right. We just so so Matt, you have a take those shims out maybe behind there. Yeah. You know what? And for the next log, I'll spray it with WD-40. Yeah. Hold on, Matt needs help on his end. Well, Matt, hold on here, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> 
One, two, three. Tell me when you're ready. You say one, two, three. No. Oh, that's funny. You're clearing the blade there. <laughs> yeah, okay. You're good, man. So the real question is, Gary, what are we at now? Right? <laughs> oh, you're 22. So we worked on this guy maybe 15 or 20 minutes last week, and we've been working on him for a little bit this week, and Gary's got two sides squared up of this cant and it sounds like we're down to 22 or 23 inches so we might almost be able to start squaring this off it's definitely getting lighter as we continue to take off big chunks of wood on it and kind of whittle it down like a pencil So what you can't tell really, or maybe you can tell if you've done this before, but what Gary's doing, we're going to make two by sixes, which dimensionally are one and a half inches by five and a half inches, six quarter by whatever that is. And uh, what he's going to do, he's going to make a bunch of cants, which are five and a half inches thick. And then he can take those cants and he can quickly slice off two by sixes all day long. So we're finally getting this guy squared up. It's getting easier to do. It takes a lot of effort to get it squared up without an automatic log turner. If somebody has one they want to lend us or give us, we'd appreciate that. Now, the good news is several of the guys have decided to go to Delaware next week. And what's in Delaware? Well, Delaware is the man who takes our saw and will rehammer it and fix the broken shank. Shank being where the bit goes. I hope I have all this, uh, this, these words right. But the bit is actually what cuts the wood. So the bit goes into the shank. We have a shank which broke off. He'll fix that apparently. Same day service, I think. And we'll have a 56-inch um, a saw to use next week. Saw is a word for this thing that goes in circles. Most people call it a blade, but it's a saw. Anyway, that's a story. I'm sticking with it.
Well, it takes a few minutes, but I wasn't exactly sure what Gary was doing here and how he was squaring up this camp. But I got it figured out now. Um, I wasn't there for the whole time. I had to go do something else on the tractor type of thing. But he, he is getting this nice cant made up. And if you look at this, this is a pretty good sized cant. It's probably 20 inches square when he gets done, which will have lots of board feet out of it. And that's that's kind of what we want to do. So you may wonder, why are we screwing around with these big logs? Well, here's the deal. Check out the Doyle scale. 288 board feet is what we ought to get out of this log. And if you figure a uh, two by six, one and a half inches by about, you know, five and a half inches uh, is six board feet per board, we should, if we have the math right, get approximately 48 two by sixes out of this log. Well, it has certainly taken some time, but Gary's at the point now of making cants out of this log. And check this guy out. He's measuring five and a half inches. So that's a heavy piece of wood. And he's got two cants already cut. And then just a matter of slicing out two by sixes. It's like easy as pie. How many of you guys know how to make pie? So this first cut after he lays a cant down is to just square things up a little bit because we're not cut entirely perpendicular when we're trying to square off this log which is frankly too big for us so he's just shaving it nice and clean so we've got perfect 90 degree angles on it and look at that thing that's gorgeous
So before you start thinking, well, Gary must be half blind. These don't look like they're even. He's going to make some two by fours and two by sixes. So what the story does is he evaluates the cant and says, well, how much have we, what have we got here? And what can we make out of it? So he's decided to get uh, two by sixes and I believe two by fours out of this. So we'll get some of each. Well, it's taken some time to get to this point, but Gary's got four nice cants now. And this first one, he's going to make two by fours out of. So what he does is he sets it so that every time he pulls that lever, it'll move one and a half inches. And that's exactly what we want. And now he's getting two by fours. Well, one and a half inches by three and a half inches because I don't know why they measure that, but that's what he do. So he'll go pretty quick now and he'll crank out nicely. So now we're making boards finally after squaring up this big log and get some nice cants out of it. So just in case you're wondering, it takes five seconds to cut each of these two by fours out of this cant. So that's pretty quick. Try that on your um, band sawmill and tell me how that works or your chain sawmill. Ain't gonna happen. Well, I don't know about you, but here's what we've been all been waiting for. And he's got three nice cants here, um, which are five and a half inches thick. And Gary's going to start cranking out two by sixes. And we'll have a bunch of two by sixes.
So once he gets set up and they can't saw where it's supposed to be, it's a simple matter of cutting the boards as quickly as you can. And each time he pulls this thing forward, it moves one and a half inches. Since it's cant's five and a half inches thick, he gets a board every time. What a bargain. So this is the quickest part of it. It just takes a few minutes to get here. Additionally, think about this. We had to cut these logs down. We had to bring them to the sawmill. We had to load them up. And that takes a little bit of time too. All right, so I got to ask, who's keeping track? How many two by sixes are we making here? So keep in mind, these are considered hardwood two by sixes. So it's poplar, while it's not the hardest wood, when it dries, it is a hard wood. So a lot of people in this area poo poo poplar because oh, it's horrible wood, it rots out. It does rot out as firewood, it's horrible firewood. It's light, lighter than oak anyway. It doesn't work very well for firewood. But if you look around Maryland, Virginia, where they grow tobacco and they have tobacco barns, at least where they used to grow tobacco when they have tobacco barns, the siding on those barns is almost predominantly poplar. And it lasts 50, 75, 100 years without rotting. You can paint it, but you don't have to paint it. Additionally, a lot of the fences, the fence we put up three years ago, is poplar. It lasts a very long time. And once it's dry, it's so hard, it's hard for many people to put a nail through. So it's a pretty darn good board.
where it's at. And you know what? When I was younger, I would have pushed back and fought it. I don't give a fuck. You don't want me to do it? That's fine. You know, but the reality is we'll, we'll get it figured out. And like you said, just do it. He, he, yeah, he's fine. Is that it? Oh, wait, you we're said gonna, one more we got another log. It's like 10 o'clock. They were going to stop you. You said one more? There? No. Why did I put those two small ones over the top? Well, why don't we cut this big one? I'm only kidding. <laughs> I don't give a shit what I we thought, do. I thought we put the small ones over the top. No, no. We'll get this. We'll get the big one done, and I'll do the small ones next week. Hey. Well, we, we'll start it. Yeah. That's hey. Well, why don't you... <laughs> start it. At least, <laughs> at least at least start the big one. We don't need to finish. You can just get started. We got another it's only 1020. Just work on it for a little bit. I don't you know well, let's start on the big one, you know, and let's get working on it and there's, there's no use in moving it around. Did that work better like that last time when you put that on the bottom and roll it back over? I mean I'll take the chainsaw. What what works is that I think the big saw is awesome, uh -huh. but it's so hard to use like this. But I mean, we, that we did did the the flip, though. that's a bigger log. Yeah. That's a bigger log. We're well, what? No, we're not. No. Oh. Come on. Although, up, although, although on I was, I was looking. <laughs> your new toothbrushes are working great. Oh, that's good. They, I mean, I look at them; they're clean. The yeah, tracks good. are clean. And like, huh, <laughs> huh. You know, they, they, they. I think it helps. No, it does because it was built up on it and it's not there right now. Oh, that's good. So that's what I was looking at, like, because it, nobody's well, there, there was, you could see it. And if it you was, take a look at them, I was looking like, huh, it looks pretty good. So. And I think once it's done they're all, and they were cleaned off. Yeah. You know, as, it makes it easier. Yeah. It's, it's like routine maintenance. If you do it, Ongoing, not bad. Yep. So what's the, what's going to be the kicker? Watch how this thing rolls, too. It's just heavy as shit. You know, it's a big. Let me. Uh, they need help. No, they don't. But. All right, let's roll this guy in. We need more help here. Alan, let me jump in here, Alan. Stay right there. I'm going to go right here. Would you come here and push us on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Everyone needs a smart ass. He's got the four by four. Yeah. Oh, it's still going to be tough. It, it's, the big logs are tough. Too much. Well, uh, you know, when Alan saw it the other day, because Alan's my size, for small guys to do this, a big log is really physically hard. I, you know, I can't pull it. I, Down to three. Okay. One, two, three. All right. Nicely done. Did you oil it? Oh man. Uh, hold on, Dave. No, uh, now we gotta go a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. Are we back against the. We need to back, up. Need to back it up. Yeah, bring her on back. There you go. Rolling nicely. Ooh -wee. Sweet. Did you already do that? Did you already spray it okay, out? I thought I saw it out, so I thought you might have done it. Yeah. That's all there is for today, folks. Thanks for watching. Do me a big favor. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Hit that subscribe. Take care, y'all, and have a great day.